Hello, how are you doing? Well, uh, my name is Leonardo. I'm a civil engineer from Brazil. This is a part of a series of videos on fluid mechanics and Navier-Stokes equation. Well, uh, in this particular video, I would like to talk about uh, the general transport equation, which is given by this expression here. Uh, by now, uh, you must notice that these equations have some similarities with the Navier-Stokes equation. We will see why. So, uh, in general, uh, this equation describes the evolution uh, of a certain quantity, which is given by phi here, here, and here, and this term here. So this uh, variable phi uh, can be uh, almost uh, any quantity of interest in a flow which is being transported. For example, temperature, uh, concentration of a certain uh, uh, substance, uh, like a pollutant in a river, for example, uh, pollutants in, in the atmosphere and so on. So uh, this term here is the rate of increase in time of this certain quantity phi. Here is the convection of this variable. You can see here the velocity vector. So this uh, quantity is being transported by velocity along a certain domain of interest and here we have our diffusion term which uh, has a constant of proportionality which is given by uh, gamma here and we have a source term of this quantity phi okay so this equation here is known as the general transport equation and uh, if we substitute uh, phi for the velocity vector, we will, this equation will uh, bring us. This will result in the Navier-Stokes equation, which is a transport equation for a momentum or velocity. So for the Navier-Stokes equation, gamma is equal to the dynamic viscosity. And our start term here is quite interesting. Uh, it will give us the gradient of pressure and the gravity force. Okay. So the gravity term and the pressure term can be th uh, th thought as a, a source term in the Navier-Stokes equation. So it is our non-Navier-Stokes equation. Uh, for a particular case, uh, the density in this case rho can be think as a constant, can be considered constant. So we put it uh, over here, multiplying these two terms, right? And uh, here, of course, our dynamic viscosity can be think as constant throughout our domain of interest. So we, uh, this goes. Nabla, the scalar product of Nabla and then gradient here, we obtain the Laplace operator, Laplace operator. And in the case of mass, the, of convection diffusion of mass, we can put this quantity equal to 1, and we obtain this equation here. So here we have our uh, temporal the rate of change in time of this of density. Here we have the transport of mass, here our diffusion term, and here our source term of mass. There are some particular cases of this equation which is interesting for us to talk about. Uh, first of all, in the case when the mass diffusion is constant, or mass diffusion, uh, or mass diffusivity is constant, then uh, we have this equation here, 
which is a very used equation in fluid dynamics and computational fluid dynamics. So uh, there are some particular cases of this equation. So if we have a zero velocity field and a zero source term, we have a poor diffusion equation, which is given by this expression here, which is also known as the heat equation. In the theory of uh, partial differential equations, this is considered a parabolic type partial differential equation. It's the same expression as the heat equation if you're familiar with this equation. So the steady state of this equation gives us the Laplace equation, which is the elliptic type of parabolic, sorry, partial differential equation, which is this expression here. And if our source term is equal to zero and we have no diffusion, we have poor convection, poor convection equation. Uh, and this term here, in some cases, can be simplified to a constant. So we have uh, like a celerity of a certain quantity or a mean velocity. Okay. So for this video, it will be this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to comment and leave, as always, leave your feedback. Thank you.